will change the template we are using and we'll use the template which we had downloaded so for that uh, we'll copy the index.html file to our template directory which we created that is done then we copy the CSS and uh, the images and the fonts also for this we should create a, a folder called the static folder because this will have all the different things right so this is done now we will change the folder the name of the where is that right here we change it to index.html earlier it was front page.html now change this to index.html let's see what happens okay the things come but the for the css is missing right so you can always do inspect and uh, check in the console you get a lot of errors because the css is missing so the configuration is not proper <coughs> So static is there uh, we have to add a static dir uh, the value is static right now does it work so static is sometimes a bit uh, complicated in Django right so nothing again <laughs> you know the answer we have to take help from the other project because I'm not able to figure out how static works in Django it's a bit complicated so uh, so I think first thing is our location is incorrect so static should come inside the project okay we'll correct that so this is our static it should come inside the project okay now we have put it inside let's see does that solve the problem okay no okay then uh, settings.py static static okay these two things are there let's copy this I know we should understand what is happening but first it's important to make it run ouch some issue happened nope still not working okay I think uh, in the HTML this is our HTML right so uh, we have to see the CSS linkage I will do dot CSS which CSS it's linking to this is from CDN okay this is so maybe we have to put a static here right the link of the location should be correct okay great we got it right at least one thing is fixed till we are getting lot of errors in the images so I think in images also <coughs> so if you put a backslash static in all the images you will have to do it then you will get it I can do change once uh, okay control how do you do it control shift H control H find and replace find all okay let's not wait uh, too much I think it's control shift and H no how do you find all replace anyway let's check if uh, this is actually working so I'll remove from this zone okay right I got the photos some photos I'm not getting because I'm not heading so yeah I think this is it uh, black I will not get because of uh, I'm not linked but the basic structure I get like it's running on localhost so yeah I think this is it one thing we might want to learn is the static settings 
because you should always understand what is happening so what we said is static dir is base dir plus static so base dir is this plus static right plus static and then we added into static files dir okay so this is how static works static is the static files js uh, images css and uh, we copied the html this we don't need and we made a very small view uh, where you can directly show that view and this is a simple website now uh, if you want to add more functionality like submission of this form then you can uh, use simple javascript right or you can use forms provided by django also so yeah i think this is it how you can create the, a small one pager website using django and uh, you can download a template and fix and configure in your django project create a django project and you will be good any questions please let me know and i think this is a good way to start uh, in django yeah thanks